I am Bill Black. I am a STEM teacher, tech ed, here at Montour School District, David E. Williams Middle School, teach STEM to grades five through eight. Uh, was approached by our innovative curriculum director, um, Justin Alio, and he said we want to move forward with an AI room. Um, then Justin got a hold of Ready AI, and we went down and observed one of the lessons that they had for their WACI competition in 2018. I witnessed one of those competition days where they were learning the process, and then on that following Saturday, it came down to watch part of the WACI competition got to know what goes on as far as the competition and said why not why we need to try this and make this happen at Montour. I think because of the uh, usability um, and the durability and the, their in interactions with CMU um, mainly because it's if I ever had a problem, I could call, and Jason or Dr. Tarosky would be able to answer a question and fix it before I had any other issues. Um, support is phenomenal. We've already had four updates with Calypso, and uh, the curriculum that I've been I started maybe last semester has already evolved, and we're moving forward with it here at the Montour School District, as well as branching out to even townships. Pretty seamlessly, um, we dot, taught VEX uh, EDR kits along with Robot C programming. So basically, I just swapped those two programs out. So I still do VEX, but I don't do the programming with VEX. So we still build our mechanical, our pull toys, and then what we do is we take that knowledge and bring it to the Cosmo robot in Calypso, where they don't have to worry about what's inside. Now they just worry about how the program, how to make Cosmo do what he wants it to do. The results are surprising for the fact that fifth grade through eighth grade, there's a big difference in, say, maturity level and excitability. Eighth grade, they're, they want to get out of here. They're just going through their motions, and you put Cosmo with the voice of Cosmo and Calypso in front of them, and it brings a smile to their face. Plain and simple, it's they're learning. They don't realize they're learning, and it's the, their reactions to Calypso and Cosmo in the ease of the Radii curriculum. It's it kind of, I'm just a facilitator. I let them see the PowerPoint. We go through the PowerPoint. They run through their tests, and they're learning and they're getting it quickly, mm -hmm. mainly because they're used to using an Xbox controller right. where I would use the mouse pad. Mm -hmm. And they're teaching me things that I didn't know about Calypso, where I'm like, oh, okay, you just do this, hit this button. I said, what button is this called on the controller? Oh, that's the select button. I was like, oh, okay. So now I can use that for my other classes. Now I look like I'm hip and cool and play Xbox 24 hours a day. But um, just their reactions in them actually learning something and seeing an immediate result. The immediate result, you can run a line of code, hit play, and it, it happens or it doesn't happen. If it doesn't happen, they redo, rethink, and then they run it again.